I drive it pretty hard on the streets, not like in the city, but in the country roads. I drive it like it's on a racetrack, and it's just always been that way. It's an experience. Everything comes together, the steering, the visuals, the smell, all your senses are just cranking, you know, you're, the, the, the sound of it obviously in the back, in the, behind you and all around you. And it's, it's pretty brutal, um, but yet it's, it's easy to drive once you learn it. So it's a tough car to get in and move it, but once you drive it, it's, it's fun to drive. Uh, Aaron from Flat 6 in Minneapolis was very instrumental in the whole thing. He was the one who kind of coordinated the building of the engine and the setup, and he's the only one that's ever really worked on the car. Um, he, he kind of guided me along that way, and then with the correct suspension, and then we found the coilovers, you know, the, the RSR suspension, so we put that in it, and so, and he found the upper strut bar and welded it in. So over time, the two of us would find parts, but he guided me down the road of uh, building the engine correctly to spec and how it would look uh, as if it were built in, in the day. first time I'd, I'd heard it under a load, a friend of mine, Chad Erickson from South Central Imports in Minneapolis, he was somehow on YouTube and found a video of a guy's in-car track camera setup and for, my car went past him in the straight at Road America and you heard the car go all the way down the track and then the downshift right before turn one and it was kind of neat to hear it under a load. had to open the, the engine compartment. I can't remember why, why I did it, but I, and a, a guy, a Porsche guy was there standing. We were in Elkhart Lake actually, and he's like, he looked at the car and kind of looked at me and he's like, he, he didn't quite understand why that engine would be in that car. It's kind of a crazy story how it started because it, its purpose was not what it is today. It was, a, I'd never owned a pre-74 car. A friend of mine told me about it and it wasn't running, the motor was tight. Um, it was in a field actually and it had, was brought to a shop and he didn't want to spend the money to fix it and the paint was like chalk and the interior um, was pretty much, it was the whole interior was a mouse house and to this day it still smells of mouse urine so it's, it's, that's why you don't see much carpet in it but it's, and then we got the car running with a different engine, different suspension and the whole RSR setup came from just years of collecting and the, the injection and the pump and the Morelli distributor came from eBay. It was in New Orleans and it looked like a scam because there was a European license plate in the background for those items and the price was too cheap and then the auction got relisted again. So I called my friend who lives in New Orleans and he checked it out. It was legitimate. I bought it and it kind of started with the high butterfly injection, the pump and the Morelli and then uh, found some heads, 2.8 heads, ST heads. And so we kind of just, the engine kind of came together. Then the cams came along and so we were just collecting things and then we decided to put them in that car which was kind of a bit unheard of because it's, the car looks nice on the outside but underneath the rockers are pretty bad. The speaker deck is 
Swiss cheese. And the quarters are off, so if you, if you look at it, one of the quarters is wider than the other, and um, it's just kind of a, a slab side narrow body with too much motor in it, so to speak. And a lot of people have scratched their heads and kind of saying, you know, why would you do that to a car like that? And it was not really intended, it just kind of came to be. I like it that it's a slab side with six inch wheels on it. The tires are too big for the rims and it sits low to the ground and it rides like a cement mixer. And, and it, that's just the way it is. And I, I kind of like it because it's not supposed to, it's supposed to have flares. That's why I don't want to put flares on it. I don't want a center fill gas tank because it's supposed, you know, so in, in the spirit of the engine and in the, in the, the realness of the engine, the authentic, you know, being authentic, you know, you could build it around a, a privateer making an ST back in the day but I think it's gonna just stay the way it is. Uh, the, the car is, it's a mess, but I, I love it for, for that. Mm -hmm.